Race meeting at Hollywood Bet Scottsville for the team at the Louis Courson Yard. Well done to all the owners as well. International Racing Club nominee, Mr. De Haas. And I see uh, N uh, Greenstock and uh, Bolingbrook as well with uh, Mr. Courson involved. Craig Zaki doing duty. Well done to the Breeders Club of Play Stud. And it's a good win for this horse. Firstly, Louis, uh, that's a great initiative up in Gauteng, uh, that Monaco Million. Yeah, we support uh, Mark Woodstock, uh, Princess Charlene. Yes. Um, so we always we always have a go. Yeah. It's luck of the draw, they luck of the ballot, and you drew in, so you decided to uh, go for a big stake uh, if you run into the money. Yeah, I think I think we, we, we just got tenth or whatever, so we got some money back for the trip. Um, I think what happened there was we had those three weeks of floods, and I was looking to know the Scottsville track. So we were in, we got drawn. You go. It, it, it's how racing works. So you haven't got a ticket, you haven't got a chance. So. We had missed a lot of work going into that race. I sure. felt that he over-raced. He was very green, and he really over-raced in that race. Like today, you see he runs handy, but mature ride, man. Craig, top class, you know. And uh, coming to this race, your one concern was maybe short of a run, but uh, he proved too good for them. Yeah, and he hangs deep. He hangs right. You know, he hangs to the right-hand side, and, of course, that's, that's the problem. And, of course, when you've got a rider like this, it's only a... He takes a lot of the pressure off, yeah. Look, I think he's better than this form, but only time will tell. You know, it's just one I made now, let's take it slowly. But he's also needs a bit of time to find himself and to get his mind on racing and so on. International Racing Club has supported you? Yeah, they have. They've been fantastic, yeah. Uh, Michael Das in particular and Joe. I mean, uh, they're coming out. They'll, they'll be here. Uh, we're seeing them on Monday morning. Uh, tomorrow morning, they're about to get on airplanes now. And a couple of them coming out for the Met, and they'll be. Don't worry, they'll be in the holiday province, so they'll be out here. We taking what some of them just after the Met, we're taking them deep sea fishing and some guys are playing golf and it's, it costs them nothing from the UK. So the UK viewers join the International Racing Club. You love your fishing, Louis. How's the fishing been uh, of late? I'm working myself to death at the moment. Uh, I just don't get these. I just don't get the time at the moment. Honestly, I don't. Um, but I'll, I'll, I have to make time. Now, the owners have forced me. So we, we'll go out with um, Cornet Species' brother and his boat and we'll go deep and look for some island. Fantastic. One on the board. Can you help us out later on? Yeah, I think all of my horses have got chances. They're all very well. Um, you know, with, with Wonder Water, the super hydration, when there's nothing left to do for a horse, you just have to put some water in his mouth because it's hexagonally clustered. And you see on these hot days what we do, we do well. So I think that'll help our horses a lot. That's when it really stands the test. And I think Impermeable is a big runner, but it is difficult for her against the Colts. But she wants that 2-4. Mm. I'm just at 6s and 7s whether she needs blinkers or not because she like loses her way early in a race and comes late. And honestly, honestly, I feel that that also is a big runner um, uh, in the Appy's race. Um, uh, gravitation, Scotty's here, Eric's here, um, and Evelyn have come down. Um, uh, huge runner. If it was a 1400, I'd put the lights out. But with 53 meditating, you get eliminated a lot. But he ran on so nicely in 1,000 last time, carrying no weight today. Gravitation, well, guys, I think he's still 12 to 1. They had a nibble at 16 to 1. He's good value. Well, a few lights were off here in the first race. Yeah, no, I, I said to the boys that we think we'll go close. I always doubt, you know, when you've missed a bit of sprint ups, but I said, boys, have a, have a, have a few rand. Uh, we, we should be there, you know. Thanks for the input, Louis, and a nice start to the afternoon. Uh, thanks, Dees. And yeah, just well done to Craig and well done to the owners. Thanks for, for, for the opportunity to train the horses uh, International Racing Club. Fantastic. Louis Kirsten, a nice interview there. Let's get Craig Zaki in now, talking about confidence. How's this boy riding? Craig Zaki, and it's a big upcoming week for him. Of course, he's got his big horse party running over the weekend in the Sun Met as well. But uh, all systems go with regards to everything. I know you'll say yes, but your confidence, you're on a high. <laughs> Thanks, Dees. Uh, it's been a really good run, and I'm just getting really good opportunities, getting the support, and it's the horses that make the difference. Brilliant. Uh, this horse uh, in the first was all over the place, but you still managed to, you know, let him keep his head in front? Yeah, um, not the easiest horse to deal with. Uh, he's quite temperamental and this heat just frustrates him a bit more but I just tried keeping his cool. Um, got a little bit restless in the gate, bumped his mouth open a bit but he handled it well. The penny still needs to drop and he just needs to gain some confidence. Uh, at the moment he's just running out of fear and he just doesn't know which, which leg to put forward first. Okay. Can you help us later on? I mean, we got competitive racing throughout. Of course, uh, the two happy races, and uh, then you guys have chances in the balance. Which could be your next best, or which horses to follow? Yeah, it's pretty com uh, competitive today, Dees. Um, I didn't really have much confidence. I thought Calabro was my best, but 
he has a deep jaw of 14 and he's got 61 on his back and it's it's up in class so it's it's a hard task for him i'm just hoping for the best but this one's really a bonus and it's definitely brightened up my day there's a few in that race where you single out Calabro, where I'm better off at the weights with you, but the way you won last time out, it wouldn't surprise me to see him hold his own against the horse that you beat last time. Yeah, everything just needs to go to plan. He did really win well. I know the horses like the Bayou has two kgs on him, and there's a few others, but I just need luck in running, and he'll put up a good task. Well, to yourself and all the rest of the boys in the jockey room, I wish you guys all the best because it's hot out there. A lot of hydration. And um, all the best. Nice start to the day for you. Yeah, great start. Thanks, Dees. Well done to Louis. Great training feed from him in his yard. To the owners, well done. And to my sponsors, Svantini and Walter Bostrip. Thank you. Nice one, Craig. Thanks. Okay, and then the winning groom, uh, the gentleman that takes care of the source elementary, his name is Ayobonga. Ayobonga, congratulations. That's your 1,000 rand. And he's receiving it from Zuleka, representing Hollywood bets. Thanks to the winning groom and Zoleka doing that presentation. 14-3, 9 and 15 is the way they cross the line here. Race number one. Well played if you got through the first leg of the bar pot. Up next, the start of the place accumulator. 13-20, which is 20 past one.